So today's lesson, uh, Multi-Wii Pro, um, complete with GPS, um, running that in a 450 quad, uh, standard 9 inch uh, gem fan props, uh, 20 amp um, ESCs that are flashed, thank you Simon, and um, a 3 cell 2200 battery and it's a 45 to 90 C um, and standard little 2208 uh, motors okay all good so this little guy this APC 220 um, it's it's powered up here by uh, serial port zero so this is the one you've got to solder the pins in so it doesn't come with the pins you've got to solder it and you can see here this serial port 3 which I also use, um, it's got the pin soldered in that I've, that I've put in there, so all good. Um, I'm using a wiring harness. Um, the distribution board sends the, um, the compass crazy, so um, either buy these or make your own. This, this is a homemade one, fairly straightforward. So let's, uh, let's get ready. I don't fly with a buzz, I just use one of these little standard um, battery alarms for three cell so there we go all good I'll stick it in the little quad and I also tend to hold my batteries in um, both ways because I don't like them um, coming out so it's holding in so I can see that from underneath all good. So standard Turnergy radio, standard Turnergy receiver. Um, so we should be all good to go. So we'll get our our guy on. So everything's cool. Everything's off. So we're in nothing at the moment. I've got magnometer, uh, position hold, return to home. Um, I've got uh, altitude hold, and I've got. Um, um, uh, uh, standard flight and acro. So we'll see how we go. So I'm flying green. I'm flying green at the front and uh, orange at the rear. I find that this colour for the uh, for the arms of the quad, I don't really. Um, I don't really find that an advantage, it's more the colour. So I, stand, I fly all my quads, uh, green front, orange rear, you can see it from underneath. So, so we'll give that a sec. Um, it's doing its own little thing there. We'll come over to the computer. So here we have the other APC unit, plugs straight in. And we come down here, we'll open up the multi-wee Gowie which is the one that you can adjust um, the board rate. The board rate, which is the speed that this talks to each other, is 57.6, your standard 115.200. So we change that to the good old 57.600. We do a connect, and you should see, there we go. There's all our, all our instrumentation. So if we come down to the avionics now, we can find out we've got 11 satellites happening and um, we're sitting in our, with our accelerometers um, 00 and 1, uh, 249. Now that's X, Y and Z. A lot of people say, I've got that unusual number. X and Y that way, Z that way. So if they're all zero, it'll be wrong. So two are zero, one is a high number so it knows what to do. So we go over here and we can actually calibrate and uh, hold the copter steady and still for five seconds, hit the go button. Now it'll go through, it'll re-zero all those. Now that copter is sitting there uh, nice. So this is the advantage of this. This has got a range of around about a kilometre. Uh, so as I said, it's only a really a high powered um, Bluetooth unit. In here, this doesn't work really good on this computer, but you can see what I've got set up. So I'm in level mode at the moment. 
As I said, I got one switch, my three position for return to home and position hold. I've got the magnometer, I've got altitude hold, and I've got level flight and acro. So I can turn all that off and on if I want. And I can come over here and I can adjust my PIDs. This is the beauty of this. If you're not flying right and it's a bit twitchy, you can adjust here and right to it, and it'll um, it'll do the hokey pokey. So let's go for a flight and see what happens. So as you can see, a lot of people ask about these LEDs. Um, I've, you've got power LED. This guy's flashing to say that it's uh, it's got a mode. You've got your green and your yellow. Every time you change a mode, your yellow one, your yellow one will, should flick. Probably can't see that. And when you arm the board, if that's that's arm now, so it's blinking green. Don't come near, and that's solid. So you ooh, just disarm and that's why you have the army thing so you don't do that so now it's all green all good to go so if you can walk up to it and play with it doesn't doesn't do anything okay we'll put the old uh, year butte uh, cover on it so this guy here is a um, u block six it's not the standard one that comes with it I find that for 20 bucks this guy here has got heaps um, heaps more power so if you're going to spend the money on a quad get some decent gear that way then when you hit return to home you know that it'll good chance it'll come back so as you can see green we can go near it doesn't do anything so we uh, arm the board green's gone off and we've got red so we're good to go we'll have a fly eh? so as I said we're in standard level mode so there she is there Looking pretty nice, all trimmed out, no no real issue. Kind of really like this board, it's um, it's nice. So we'll, let's go around here and we'll have a bit of a fly down here. Send it over there somewhere. And then we'll stop, hit position hold. So now it's going to just sit there for a minute. Now because it was armed that way, and it's now facing that way. If I hit the magnometer, you'll see it does nothing. And we'll give it a bit of stick so she doesn't hit the ground. So we'll do a return to home. And now it comes back to me. And it's facing the way it wants to go. So very slow, here it comes. You can see that above the, the trees there. Not very far away. I'm not touching anything, it's just doing its own thing. Give it a little bit of stick because it's... Take him up a bit. Now you'll see it spin around, that's the magnometer working. Okay. So into the sun, which is great. That's good. That's why I try not to fly in that direction. We'll bring him down a bit. Give him a bit of... So still position hold and return to home. 